Uh, Bella, you said your last relationship is a good insight to young girls trying to find the modern bad boy. Uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of, I'll keep it short and sweet. So basically it was just young high school sweetheart love. I was about 16. Uh, he was actually, we were the same age at the time, but he had just turned 17. And he actually ended up um, doing some illegal stuff, getting caught up. And I decided I was gonna be, you know, Captain Save a Ho and do a whole bunch of stuff to try to get him out of trouble, which was really bad because I'm 16, don't know what I'm doing when it comes to the law. And it kind of just turned into a downward spiral of four and a half years of just back and forth, mental drain, emotional drain. And there was a lot of infidelity that was in, tied into it. And there was a lot of like back and forth. And it just was what everybody had made seem so good on like Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Like, oh, get you a thug because, you know, they'll protect you, blah, 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 blah. But they don't really talk about like the downside of what that does to, you know, a partner um, if they're not raised correctly or if they're not considerate or things along those lines and it just it, it really took a toll on me as a young woman and it kind of changed my outlook that's why I, younger when I was younger I don't consider myself traditional at all I actually was quite promiscuous I like to party a lot I did a lot of stuff that I definitely shouldn't have done especially at such a young age and now that I'm older I look back and I change a lot of my views that's why like I think body count does matter because you know, your past will come back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. And I've had that conversation with my boyfriend before, you know, like, hey, you know, if I had a different body count, would you look at me differently? And we, we've been honest and said yes, of course. And it just, there's a lot of things that I look back and I regret, especially in regards to that relationship. Um, Do you, you regret like things you did? Yeah, I, I don't regret him or meeting him because I feel like it was definitely a good was lesson. Was he involved in crime? Yeah. You said he was a th he was a thug. Your words. Yeah. So he stealing. He, what what was he doing? Yeah. Before me, he was dealing, and then when he was with me, he was stealing, uh, doing uh, house invasions. Um, if you want to get really yeah, he really was specific. Doing, he was doing home invasions. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So he was doing that, and it did get to a point where it just came to a head, and he got caught up, um, and he did go away for eight months. Like yeah, <laughs> eight and months. You you said he'd put you in bad situations. Yeah, so he, uh, when it all happened, I was actually in summer school before my senior year of high school, and he was supposed to come pick me up from summer school, and I ended up having to get a ride because he had lied and said he was doing something else. And when I had finally gotten home, he actually called me to basically write his report to the police. Um, to try to, you know, con them out of knowing it was him. And it was mm. a whole big thing. And I eventually got dragged into it, obviously, because I filed a false police report, which is mm -hmm. against law. Um, so there was a whole lot that went into it. But uh, I learned my lesson very quickly in about 48 hours mm. <laughs> after talking to detectives. And they're like, hey, this isn't really a good idea since we know where you were and everything that was going on. So it, it was just a, it was a whole... Mm -hmm. At 16, it definitely was a very big eye-opening experience of what type of life I was going into. Um, and it just wasn't, hmm. it wasn't portrayed to me the same way that it was portrayed to me prior. Like it wasn't happening the same way that it was portrayed to me, if that makes sense. Advice to the women, don't date men who are involved in criminal activity. No. That's my <laughs> recommendation. Especially young girls. You know, just like kind of seems like it's, self-evident but no uh, no heroin addicts no criminals right yeah that, that you know just given like the real uh you know nuanced takes here on dating 